Hey guys, welcome back to the Hobby Farm Homestead. Uh, today is Sunday and we have a few things we gotta get into. I just wanted to give you an update on the chickens and turkeys that we have here in the garage. Um, I've already had to expand basically the chicken brooder. Um, the meat birds are rapidly growing. Um, we are in, I think, the fourth week now with them. So we have four more weeks to go until they go to the processor. So I'll go ahead and show them to you guys and um, see how big they are. These are the turkeys. Now the turkeys we will have until the end of August when our fair is. Um, those take a little bit longer to grow. So the problem we have right now with the turkeys is they're starting to jump out of the, the brooder that we have right here. So uh, the only Thing that we can do is maybe put some chicken wire over top of it so i'm gonna have to pick some of that up today at the tractor store and uh, get that taken care of because every time we come out here in the last couple days uh they've been jumping out so they they've just been running around you know free rain in the in the garage here and we can't have that because we don't want to lose them so you know those are the turkeys that we were take to the, the fair for the 4-h projects all right, guys, well, I need to get the lawnmower loaded up because we need to take it up to the mother-in-law's house, get the lawn mowed, and I'll show you guys the pigs up there. Now, we also have two more pens we got to build yet. I don't know if I'll get that done today. I hope I do so we can get a couple more pigs separated. But I'll give you an update on the pigs when we get up there. Alright guys, we are up this small farm. And they're gonna get loud here in a minute because they all wake up. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys fed and then I'll show you the update. Okay. Now I got all the pigs fed and uh, they're eating nice and happy. So but we did get uh, two pigs moved over here in the pen. Like I said, I got two more to put in right here. And I'll probably move, more than likely I'll move this hamp and then probably this blue one. Right there. Um, and once the pens are done, I gotta bring in the automatic waterers, which I have the waterers already. Um, I just need to run the PEX or whatever I decide to do. Whatever I can get my hands on, cheap, that's what I'll make it out of. But we're gonna go ahead and get this lawn mowed, get it weed eated and all that stuff up here. Then we're gonna head on down to the uh, back to the farm there and uh, get a few things we gotta fertilize and seed the pastures. And I gotta finish these gates and 
don't know if I'll get to that or not, but we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and get this lawn mowed up. Alright, so we're going to switch uh, turkeys around and expand the chicken uh, brooder area. Um, I already moved the one board, I got to move, just remove the other one. Uh, first I got to get some shavings in for the turkeys in the back and then I got to put something over top so they quit flying out. So let's uh, get at that. Okay, so we got them all moved. The last thing I got to do is put the wire over top of the turkeys. And I might put like a little roost in the corner for them because they like, they like getting up on things and roosting, but uh, it's not gonna be very high because of the, the height of it. It's only about two foot, so put it at maybe a foot or so, but they're growing pretty good. Eventually we'll move them out into the horse, one of the horse stalls if we have one open uh, or outside and we got like a dog kennel type of deal we'll put them in that so the meat birds are definitely getting getting there they're getting pretty big so hopefully uh those will make it to eight weeks we'll still get some hot weather this week in the 80s actually and uh we'll see how they uh fare through that hopefully okay so let's go ahead and get that wire put up over the turkeys and then we're going to probably start working on these uh, hog pens Can't hardly see that wire, but that'll allow them. Once once they learn it's upper, they won't try to jump up out of here and uh, get loose.
All right, guys. Uh, it's Monday morning, about 6:20 or so. But I just want to show you the final uh, thing on these pins. They're all done. Uh, as far as the pins go, I still have to move the automatic waterers, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the pins now. So right now we have these little blue waterers, and I have that one right there. That's like a homemade. Uh, tube water but, but I'm gonna put my automatic waters up against the wall just kind of like that one is and then run water line all the way over to that point right there <coughs> but these pens are done and uh, that was a pretty daunting task but I got them all done so I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys fed up I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here and I'll catch you guys on the next